Forces loyal to Libyan warlord Khalifa Haftar say they will enforce a no-fly zone over the main airport in the capital, Tripoli. Flights had only just resumed at Matiga Airport after being suspended following a rocket attack on Wednesday. The unrecognized government Haftar says Haftar's forces don't have the capacity to enforce a no-fly zone. However, flights in and out of Matiga have been suspended following the warlord's statement. <laughs> We announced the activation of a no-fly zone that we previously described, as you can see on this map. The no-fly zone includes Matiga Airport. The areas are now forbidden for civilian or military aviation. Any civilian or military aircraft, whoever it belongs to, will be in breach of the ceasefire and therefore will be directly destroyed. The situation in Libya has been raised at the World Economic Forum in Davos, where Turkey's foreign minister blamed Haftar for standing in the way of peace. Our diplomatic editor James Bayes has more on what he said. A meeting of world leaders last weekend in Berlin was supposed to bring Libya closer to peace and cement a ceasefire in the country. And yet there are reports of fresh air attacks on Mitika Airport in Tripoli carried out by the forces of General Khalifa Haftar. The Turkish foreign minister has told delegates here in Davos that one man stands in the way of peace. Haftar didn't make any announcement as he didn't sign the joint statement uh, for uh, ceasefire in Moscow. This is the, only the problem. Everybody uh, committed not to send any additional uh, military force there. By the way, our personnel is there uh, for training and also education. Uh, nothing else, like a very limited number of, we don't have any strong military presence in Libya. The lack of political progress means the humanitarian situation is bound to further deteriorate. The UN is particularly concerned about the thousands of migrants from elsewhere in Africa trapped in the conflict zone. We found solutions for a few of them, extracting them, evacuating them to other countries. Um, we have managed to expand a little bit the space to work inside Libya for those who can't get out. But uh, frankly, if there is no progress on the political front, if military action is not halted, uh, that space will remain very narrow, will continue to be plagued by that tragedy next door to the European border. The next phase for diplomacy on Libya is slated for next week in Geneva when representatives of General Haftar are supposed to meet a team representing Faiz al-Sarraj, the Prime Minister of the internationally recognised government.